What up, dudes? It's Gaz. And welcome back to the Warframe video. So you ever just wish that Steel Path missions were a little bit more chill, and you just didn't have to pay attention to your health bar, and, you know, your shield bar. Who wants to shield gate, really, you know? Just want easy time. Well, do I have the item for you today? We've got one of the most overpowered items in Warframe you might not be using, and I'll be basically showing how effective this is in high-level missions, and things like that. So let's get right into it. But before we do, make sure you're sub this channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads, lots of build videos, discussion videos, and uh, news videos on this channel. So make sure you hit the sub button in the right place for Warframe content. All right, let's get right into what we're talking about today. It's going to be the Dante Spectre, the Warframe Spectre you can summon in mission. If you haven't seen this before, you guys need to see how crazy this is because this can make the game so much easier for you as long as you have the setup going. So, Basically, what Spectres are in Warframe, you have a copy of your Warframe that you've chosen before in your Foundry, and you can summon that Warframe in mission uh, with no mods, basically. But the thing about Dante is that Dante doesn't really even need mods. So, yes, the Dante Spectre will give you Overguard. The Dante Spectre will cast the ultimate ability of Dante, Final Verse, which will give you, depending on which, which one of the AI decides to do, one of the abilities of Final Verse will give you Overguard Regeneration on kill. And if you don't know how Overguard Regeneration works, just basically look at the screen right now. Every time I get a kill, I will be constantly regenerating Overguard. And the way the Overguard works in Warframe, when the Overguard breaks, you get a 0.5 seconds of invincibility. So as long as we're getting kills, we're procking that Overguard Regeneration, and any amount of Overguard is enough for that 0.5 seconds of of invincibility, so we are entirely invincible as long as our over our Dante Spectre is being a good little Spectre and casting the Triumph ability and not something else. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all you need, guys. You just need to have a Dante Spectre. I gave mine the Kuvazar. We'll show the entire loadout I use in my Dante Spectre in a little bit here. But yeah, the big thing is just you throw it down. I'd recommend the lowest level Spectre possible because they're cheaper to craft. And just play the mission as normal. Uh, he's giving Overguard to himself. And as you can see on the, the screen as well, my cat, Count Kirby, is getting Overguard too. So everyone's getting Overguard. Not to mention if you're in multiplayer, your teammates will get Overguard as well. The Dante Spectre is one of the most powerful items in all of Warframe. Now as far as comparing it to other Spectres, such as Protea Spectre, Wisp Spectre, Volt Spectre, and the like. Some of those other Spectres do have some, some good uses to them as well. But I think for overall easy mode... Dante Spectre is going to be a great option for you going forward. So let's go ahead and show what you should, like how you can acquire this, what builds you should be going for on your uh, Spectres. And, and to be fair, there, there are no actual builds, but it's more to be like which weapons you should bring on your Spectre. All right, so the way you obtain Spectres in Warframe is that you play rescue missions. When you do the rescue mission, depending on how good you do the rescue mission, will give you a different type of Spectre blueprint. I believe there's like three or four different ones. And like I said, for, for this recommended method, I'm going to go ahead and say that I think you should be using the most cheap Spectre in the game, which would be the Vapor Spectre. That's going to be from you basically not doing the mission as good as you possibly could. You know, maybe a, maybe a Warden saw you, maybe, maybe the hostage got, you know, poked a couple more times than they were supposed to, but you got it done and you get the Vapor Spectre. The reason the Vapor Spectre is what I recommend, as you can see right here, 10x Vapor Spectre blueprint. These take eight hours to craft, so if you want to be building a bunch of them like I have, it's going to take a bit. So I'd say do the one that gives you the most. If you look at the other ones that are available, um, as far as Warframe Spectres, you know, you've got your, your Syndicate Ancient Healer Spectres and stuff like that. But yeah, the Force Spectre, this is the one you get from like doing a little bit better. You can only build three of these. At a, it's only three of these at a time. But just showing how we get the, the uh, loadout here. Now, for the Force Spectre, I've got Nidus. I actually would recommend you have different Spectres for each type. So I've got my Dante Spectre as my Vapor Spectre. I've got my Force Spectre as Nidus, because Nidus Spectre can give you a Power Strength buff. Uh, and I think the last Spectre is probably like Protea or Wisp, I'd assume. No, that's a really old Nidus one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and show you the Dante loadout and how you can uh, set this up. And yeah, guys, uh, the, Dante Spectre, the Dante Spectre is going to be something that you can use in things like Elite Archimedean and missions like that. So as far as which weapons I'm going to run, I usually run the Kuvazar. It's very good with Spectre AI. Uh, and the pistol doesn't really matter, but I will tell you what, I think that the melee does matter. I'd recommend running a dagger Zaw, whatever one you want to uh, throw on here, probably like maximum crit would be pretty good. Uh, because it's like whatever the Spectre decides to melee, the dagger Zaws just are really good for some reason. So yeah, that's all you really need though. The power strength, uh, mo like mods aren't going to change anything on here. Archon shards aren't going to change anything on here. Just go with like whatever, as long as you have Dante, that's all you need to do. So you just take Dante over to this. 
and you go to your specters, and right now I have those specters building, so I can't change them. But we'll just, we'll just, I'll build some other specters to show you guys. So you go to specters, pick which one you want to replace the loadout on. So I think the cosmic specter is the old Nidus. So you click, you can either preserve the previous loadout or apply the new loadout. I'm going to apply the new loadout here. And now we have our Dante specters building. Again, I said, like I recommended, I'd recommend that you build the vapor specters because that one right there, the cosmic specter, that's only one specter. So it's not really worth building as this also takes eight hours. So... Most bang for your buck, do the Vapor Specters and use Dante as your Specter. Now, is this is this too good? Is, is this like actually too powerful, uh, this situation we have going on here with the Overguard? I would say that maybe the devs might think so. Yes, we just got an Overguard Arcane that gives you Overguard on damaging an enemy with Overguard with a pistol. Uh, and this, that's, you know, that's pretty specific. It requires an Arcane slot on your pistol. It requires, you know stuff this requires you to build a a blueprint and you can use that so like in eight hours you can get 10 of them so if you build these like you know if you were like super hardcore tryharding it you could build 30 of them a day how many missions per day you play right like you only need to have one well, i think the specter is an infinite duration so as long as the specter doesn't die and dante is giving himself himself over guard here uh he's not going to really be dying really easily this is definitely one of the strongest things in the games, guys. If you need, if you think elite deep archimedean is hard, this and you have bad load, like, say you have a bad loadout, this can give you overguard on your, you know, your terrible loadout with like limbo and the stug or whatever. This can make EDA really simple. Uh, if you know, the thing is though, the the Spectre AI can be kind of dumb sometimes. It's like quit casting the mini book, dude. Quick, the mini book is not helpful to me. Keep giving me triumph. Just triumph is what you need here, uh, and triumph is at casting double light verse and then the ulti. Which, you know, it's Spectre AI, so it could, it could just decide to do the mini book a lot of time, too. I've only seen it cast the mini book and Triumph. I've not seen it cast the birds. I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm just saying I've never seen the bird ability get cast from this Dante Spectre. So, yeah, as far as other Spectre guys, like I said earlier, um, the, the Knight of Spectre is really good for giving a big chunk of extra power strength. They can easily link to you. The Wisp Spectre will turn on Wisp modes, which is pretty nice. Uh, Volt Spectre can put up the Electric Shield. That could be really good, but it definitely requires some, you know, specific gameplay and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, there's other ones too, like, um, I'm sure a Jade Spectre would be kind of okay. I've actually tried a Jade Spectre before, but I feel like that would be kind of okay. Uh, yeah, if you've tried a Jade Spectre before, let me know in the comments down below, guys, because I'm actually interested in that one. But, uh, yeah, I think Dante is still the best Spectre in the game right now. Um, hopefully DE does not nerf it, because, yeah, this is you, if you need an easier time in a mission, this is the way you do it. You just throw on the Dante Spectre and Overguard for all. Even if, they, even if your teammates didn't want Overguard, they want the mission to be a little bit more difficult. Too bad, you brought the Dante Spectre, and now everyone's having an easier time, so... See you guys in the next video. Appreciate all the support. And yeah, we'll hopefully get some new Lotus Eaters information like tomorrow, I'm hoping, so we can get some prep guides out for Lotus Eaters and see what the, is actually going on in the update besides just a Prime Access and a mini quest. So, see you guys next time. Take it easy and peace.